Hello. So, it is, uh, let's see, about 10, 10.30. And we are back at Nasu. I usually would normally film our trip up here, but uh, we started off this morning uh, in a suite at the Park Hyatt celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary. And it was totally awesome. We had an amazing time. And, but <laughs> our plan was, if we have enough time to leave the park, Hyatt, <clears throat> go make a quick stop at the dentist for both of us. And then from there, drive up to uh, Nasu. And we had the car all packed up and ready to go. So we actually made it. And now I just have to say, starting my day off at the Park Hyatt, in a suite, having breakfast in my room was amazing. Coming up here, it's a little lackluster, <laughs> but that's all right. Anyways, we're here, we made it, and uh, yeah, the place is kind of a mess at the moment. We brought a lot of stuff with us, and a lot of stuff's being delivered. Can I turn this around? No, I can't, hold on. There we go, turned around. So we brought a lot of stuff with us, the speakers that actually belong in the house, like that were here originally, some other electronics, audio electronics as well. We have our, our, our mattress, which will actually go in our bedroom when we get our bed frame. And unfortunately today, the internet, the day that we showed up, the internet decided to malfunction. And since we got here, it has been pouring down rain. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're back at the Nasu house. We started out this morning after a weekend at the Park Hyatt of total lap of luxury, being taken care for to this kind of a mess. And man, is it gonna get messier tomorrow because we have all the stuff from our house that we had shipped being delivered and we have a massive order from Amazon that's going to start showing up and we're going to be here it's Tuesday and we're going to be here until Sunday that's the plan without any natural disasters this is a kitchen by the way I forgot to mention we you know we had this new kitchen thingy installed here and we did this subway tile, which actually turned out pretty well. And the refrigerator, it like opens on this side, some snacks in there, and it opens on this side, which is really kind of cool. Anyways, that's it for now. Uh, yeah, take a shower. Try not to get uh, COVID or whatever it's called at the moment, and relax. Hey, <laughs> so it's day two, and we are still trying to make our way through this mess. And uh, it's honestly uh, crazy that we were just celebrating our 10 year anniversary at the Park Hyatt in downtown Tokyo, and now we're here, like 24 hours later. And we spent our first night here, which was Ah, good. Our bed was in the wrong place, but anyways, let's see. Let me turn this around. There we go. So yeah, I don't know why I can't figure out how to turn that around. How to use your phone is probably what you should figure out before you start making videos. Anyways, so we've, we've managed to kind of clean things up. I mean, it looks like a mess, I know, but there's just stuff everywhere that we've been rearranging, trying to figure out where it's kind of gonna go. And we know that's not really our, our table that we're gonna have in there. That's actually gonna be right here, but eventually, but right now it's there. And the stereo will go back on against that wall there. And there's now an air filter back there. Um, what else? Uh, the internets over there in the corner uh, are still broken and the internet people are not really knowing 
when they're gonna be able to come in and fix it, or if they can, and why we're even here for four days. So anyways, uh, yeah, so the, the we actually have our bed. It's not on in the bedroom, and it's not it's not on the it's not on the it's not on the bed frame yet. But and we don't are still working on storage, as you can see. <laughs> but anyways, I've never actually been able to look outside this window before. But that's the view outside of this window. There's another house over there. But we just took the weird stuff off of the off the windows in here, and I still have not been able to get to that shutter over there on the on the right and close it. We got our cool lamp. Anyways, so Nana is making her first trip to the grocery store to put food in the refrigerator. And I was vacuuming and cleaning, but now, you know, I have to say that I've cleaned out all that stuff and I've cleaned all of that stuff and I just vacuumed and rearranged and I found this in the refrigerator. So this is gonna go in me right now. So, yeah, day number two. Let's try this again. Oh, and it hasn't stopped raining. Well, it's, it's, it's not raining at the moment, but it's just thundering and lightning. So, yeah. Okay, okay bye. Hey. So, day three at the Nasu house, and it's still messy. Um, we still don't have any internet. They sent us a new modem. But uh, the modem is not the problem. So it's the fiber line coming into the house. So we actually got a bunch of stuff delivered from home today and a bunch of stuff delivered from Amazon today. So we just don't have any place to put everything. As you can tell, the kitchen is a total disaster. There's stuff drying there. There's our microwave from, actually from home. It's microwave oven slash steamer slash toaster slash does nothing very good box. And our old coffee maker from home and actually a new rice maker from, actually the one, the same one we have at home. And all these dishes on the floor and there's supposed to be a pantry that's gonna kind of go here, but we don't have that yet, obviously, because <laughs> Everything is on the floor. And let's see, the soda stream, that showed up today. That was unexpected. But yeah, so the stuff in the living room is starting to come together a little bit. Um, I wasn't sure about bringing that carpet up here. And that table is actually our dining table, so it actually will go in here. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I... Uh, I can kind of see that it's coming together a bit and I'm starting to dig it a little. And we started to take everything out of this cabinet back here and I kind of cleaned and oiled the, the wood with some lemon oil and it's coming back to life pretty nice. So I've got some, I've got some big plans for this space back here gonna be lit with some mirrors and some glass shelf but yeah still no internet which is totally sucks because a lot of the stuff that I want to set up I can't set up because I don't have internet and that would be some smart home automation stuff so I could start dimming these lamps and things like that but anyways yeah so here we are I can't get over that air air filter over there. It's like the like the best air filter you can buy, but it looks like it it it's a robot out of Wally, -E, and it's like chasing Wally -E around or something like that. Caution, rogue robot. Yeah. Anyway, and there's speaker stands. There's most of the stereo is over there, just waiting for its cabinet to arrive, which will come at the end of this month, the end of the August, I guess. So yeah, and our bed is still, <clears throat> we still need to order that, but we have so much other stuff that we need to order and we want to ship it all at once. So we don't have to pay shipping fees twice. 
I have to put this, I have to put the stereo together and figure out what other cabinetry I need for holding tons of records and tons of tape. Yeah, you're like, tape? What's that? Uh, anyways, uh, and yeah, <laughs> our bed <laughs> in our bedroom is still a disaster. It's been a very, very busy day. Unfortunately, I'll show you in another video tomorrow, but um, we had the we had the landscaping people come out and take a look at at our landscaping. There's our halfway built deck, which I'm a little nervous because it's been raining nonstop and it should not be sitting there like that in the rain. But uh, yeah, so we had the landscaping people come out and they're gonna trim all the trees, make them look nice, and they're gonna trim all the underbrush out. But unfortunately, there is a very, very, very large pine tree that, I don't know, I'll just go over here and hold on. It's just right out the window. I don't know if you can see it or not. Nah, you can't really see it. But there's a very large pine tree that is extending over the entire house. And unfortunately, because of the power lines and the house next door, uh, which is actually quite close, you can probably see it over there, um, they can't get a crane in here. And it's a big tree. It's it's and it comes right over the house. So they're worried that if the tree were to fall over, it would take out the entire house. So we need to take out the entire tree. And the rough estimate for that is about six thousand dollars. So, anyways, <clears throat> if you ever wanted to, you know, renovate a house in Nasu, make sure you have some uh, extra pocket change laying around for a $6,000 tree cutting. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna finish my beer. Nana's at the grocery store, and, and she's been somewhere else, I don't know. She went to some other store for organizing stuff, but yeah, the mess is becoming less of a mess. Um, one thing I have to say, these floors, as much as I really like them, uh, if you even look at them, you dent them or scratch them. I mean, I'm a little bit concerned, but we'll see moving forwards. And maybe I'll get some advice on how to, uh, once you do dent them and scratch them, how to fix them. They actually scratched the floor. There's a, another air filter over there. That one is the same, but it's just the smaller version of the, the bigger one. It looks less of like a robot from Wally. -E. But uh, anyways, <coughs> excuse me box of sake and all this kitchen stuff where I have no idea where it's gonna go. Nana definitely has her work cut out for her. So anyways, and then I need to attack those kitchen cabinets up there as well because those all need to be redone as well. So yeah, lots of work, but hey, we're making progress and that's what counts. <laughs> it's such a mess, oh my gosh, oh boy. Okay, bye. Okay, so Nana and I are just wrapping up six days at the Nasu house, and we have been cleaning like crazy. And the entire time we've been here, it's been raining like crazy. Uh, we had just regular downpours and storms, and then a typhoon came through yesterday but all the stuff, all that woodwork has all been cleaned now. Uh, the internet, NTT has left us high and dry. They haven't even returned a phone call and it's still dead. But all these windows still need to be cleaned. But the couch is here. There's a carpet on the floor. There's sound coming out, which is nice. <sighs> There's Nana, say hi. Hello. Hello. And we still have some stuff to put away, some junk. Oh, that was supposed to go in the car. Uh, anyways, but yeah, six days and it's been pouring down rain the entire time. I mean, like pouring down rain. And now look at it outside. It's flipping gorgeous. The sun is out. It's nice and warm. We have to drive back to Tokyo, which we're not exactly looking forward to because it's the end of the Oban holiday and everybody's gonna be driving back to Tokyo. But yeah, 
So we got a lot done. I mean, cleaning all this woodwork was, oh my gosh, so much work, but so worth it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And our bathroom is still, is how it is. But uh, we, get, we, got, we got to use the washer. We had to actually live here, which was actually quite fun. So if it wasn't pouring down rain all the time, Anyways, kitchen, we still have lots of work to do, but yeah, we had a blast. So we have to come back next week, maybe, or the week after, and meet the internet people, if they ever return our phone call, uh, and get the internet hooked up. That would be NTT sucking. Anyways, that's it. We're going to hit the road. Ciao. Okay, one more departing shot. Since the sun is out for the first time, not kidding, in... A week ah, there is there's the house and it's right up in against the Sun but I don't know if you can see it but there's a big pine tree right there that is my new $5,000 friend because that's how much it's gonna cost to remove it because it's right over the house and they're worried about it falling on the house there's our car. There's Nana saying, please get in the car. So I gotta go. Okay, ciao. Hello. So Nana and I are on our way back to Tokyo. And we left Las Nasu about an hour ago, an hour and a half. What? At one. At one o'clock. Two hours ago. Two hours ago. And we're actually almost back. And the traffic hasn't been too bad. And it's actually really, really nice. What's that? Knock on wood. Oh, knock on wood, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I shouldn't say that. But yeah, the funny thing is, it's been raining like crazy, and now it's all nice. So, anyways, usually I do a shot of us driving up here, but I didn't do that. So, I'm just doing a shot of us driving home. And Nana, well, because I drove up last time, and Nana's driving back this time. So anyways, but yeah, coming to the end of our our six days at six days at Nasu. Can't believe how much we got done. But the funny thing is, it doesn't look like we got anything done. But <laughs> oh well. So yeah.